Man, he is slick with these entries. Very fast, and he's got a good look over here on the foot. It's still underneath the armpit as Bodoni uses his left foot to clear his right knee line. He's not completely out of the woods yet. Oh, and Bodoni returns one of his own, and he's in. All right, so now we're going to talk about the uh, corkscrew uh, leg lock from 5050. I've also heard this uh, referred to as the razor lock and the uh, bread cutter. It's got many, it's a toe hold essentially from 5050. So this time, I'm going to be in the 5050 position. I'm going to turn my hips in. And as I go for this leg lock here, he's going to turn his feet away. Okay, so if he kind of straightens his leg, like we talked about before, if you, if you just straighten your leg, then I start to hook and I go for the ankle lock. If he turns his toes away, then I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to control the leg here like this. Okay, as this happens, I'm going to bring my right hand under his leg like this. Gable grip my hands. And now I want to slide my forearm across his metatarsals here like this. All right, then I'm going to gable grip my hands here. And I want to bring my elbow to my ribs. And I want to rotate across this way. Okay. So I'm not just kind of coming in here and just ripping it. I'm bringing my forearm across his metatarsals, gable gripping the hands here, and then I'm gonna bring my elbow to my ribs here, and then I'm gonna rotate. Okay, so it's more of kind of a rotation and closing the space here as opposed to just using muscles and ripping it across. I'm tucking, and then I'm slowly moving my body this way. So it's gonna create tension right here and in his foot. And usually they'll try to roll with that and as they roll, that's when you're gonna get the, either the tap or the break, whichever happens first. Let's go through one more time. So I'm in the 50-50 position. I'm gonna turn my hips in, triangle my legs. I'm gonna to start to dig for the heel hook. Okay, this time he turns his toes away. All right, so now I'm gonna use my left hand, control the leg here like this. So now if he tries to pull the leg back, the leg is stuck. Okay, if he turns his foot back into me, then I go back to my heel hook. But for this one, I'm controlling the leg. My right hand is gonna come under, right below his calf, once again, here like this. Then I'm gonna gable grip my hands. I want my left forearm to be across his metatarsals here. Gable grip my hands like this. And then I'm gonna tuck my elbow to my ribs. And then I'm gonna rotate my body like this. And that's going to get a very painful break across his foot right here and in his ankle as well. So that is the corkscrew, uh, razor lock, bread cutter, whatever you want to call it. It's a toe hold from 50-50 using a gable grip.